honestly, to go a route, an unconventional route to leaving a university and was like, I don't like y'all, this is trash, to experiencing doing real world, real time, hands-on experience with different companies and different, um, and interacting with people who have done this for years and who has just started was, is way better than going to a university. I was in the midst of finishing my degree. I had one year left and then I decided I was bored and I didn't like it anymore. So I left. Um, <laughs> and uh, I was like, you know what? I, uh, it was a degree in marketing. It was. But I wasn't getting um, what I wanted to get out of it. Like I wanted to get hands on real time marketing um, experience. And it wasn't, it was just giving me like textbook experience. And I was like, this is this is not it, this is boring, this is not what they're doing out here in marketing. And so from there, so from learning about marketing in school while I was working in media and sales, and I was like, I don't like the school portion of it, I'm going to figure this out on my own and figure out a non-conventional way, a non-traditional way to get into digital marketing, I will, and I did. There was this um, young lady who she was a coworker of mine that worked. We sat back to back from each other, and I kept hearing her say impressions and engagements and impressions and this. I'm like, and CPM, and I'm like, what is this stuff? And I just, you know, I literally just scooted back, and I was like, what are you talking about? And she was like, oh, this is digital. Um, these are digital ads. I'm like, digital ads. What are digital ads? So she was explaining to me what digital ads were and um, breaking down like what impressions were and what engagements were and showing me the analytics behind the scene and how she sets it sets them up for radio and I'm like, this is this is what we're doing now. She was like, well, yeah, this is what um, the company wants to do with their digital ads and I'm like, okay. So I started googling impressions engagement and I noticed that they were saying the same thing in regards to social media and I'm like, hmm. I think I want to do this but since she was the only person that was um, doing that um, there weren't any again there weren't any other openings so I was like well I'm gonna have to figure out again how to get into this um, my own way so I just kept teaching myself and learning and asking questions when I could since there weren't that many openings in the job that was at in marketing so I was like you know what I'm just gonna freelance full-time and figure the and figure things out as I was searching for a job in social media um, I came across Acadian and then when I uh, applied for a position I was asked hey do you want to just come into the program as an apprentice and get to work with um, other businesses to enhance your skill set and I was like okay cool I'll do that so that happened, application went through, started working with um, businesses, and then um, I was approached to do the Acadian Plus program. First time didn't get in, did it again, second time I got in. It definitely um, get, did give you the real time experience um, that that I was looking for, it gave me that. It gave me um, a sense of being able to ask for help when I needed it and to ask for, you know, and to ask questions and understand um, the company's missions and brand tone and voice and, and things like that. Um, and it also, if, and also um, being able to keep that connection with that mentor afterwards, um, even if they don't hire you full time or part time, whatever the case may be. Um, you'll still be able to, you know, keep in contact and, you know, they'll refer you to other people. You learn to get over your imposter syndrome quickly, and I learned to network better. Um, those are the two things that I learned. Uh, networking is, is key to getting in the door to anything. That's how I ended up at Square, was leveraging my network. Um, you, what I did was I ended up searching for other digital marketing hubs and other people that worked in, you know, digital marketing or in marketing in general. Um, 
and I just would just sit there, sat there and talk to them and, and things like that, scheduled, um, scheduled time with, you know, director of social media at different companies or head of marketing at different companies. Like, I just was on LinkedIn sending people messages and um, saying, hey, if you have time, this is who I am, this is what I do. I'm in this program, I'm that, I'm doing this. I just want to know if you have some time to sit down and talk to me and see how you got into it. So, Acadium definitely showed, I was, Acadium definitely helped me learn how to network better and how to get over the fear of reaching out um, in, in hopes of not getting rejected or ignored by people with, you know, C-level exec titles. I was shocked. I didn't really read it. I kind of like skimmed it at first. I was like, ah, oh, well, here's another denial. And then I just skimmed it and I got to the bottom and it said, welcome to Square. I was like, wait, hold on, wait a minute. So I went back to the top and I was like, oh, I got the job. <laughs> and I was like, oh, this is, this is, uh, wow. Okay. I got it. Did, I swear, I, when I read the email, I just skimmed it. I was like, well, whatever. It is what it is. And then I just got to the bottom and said, welcome to Square. And I was like, ah. Uh, they sent it to the right person? So I went back. <laughs> and I was like, oh, and they <laughs> sent it to me. It is me. Um, so that was that. Um, and then, uh, but the process was long. The interview process was, took a while. It took a while. It took about two months and the last interview was two hours ask questions ask a lot of questions be nosy um get in the internet and just just do what you need to do to find the answers that you're looking for don't be afraid to hit up anybody um that have these, you know, CMO titles in their, on their LinkedIn. Because nine times out of ten, they started where you're at. Okay, so they they had to start somewhere, and they had to start at the bottom to get to where they are now. Um, look for other mentors outside of Acadium. I'm not saying, like, you shouldn't, but sometimes um, you can, it, it's okay to have different mentors and different, that do different things. Um, especially in marketing, because you never know who can help you get into wherever you want to go. Um, nine times out of ten, we're, what, was that six degrees away from, what's that six degree separation thing, uh, rule, quote? Oh, I forgot it. But um, you just never know. You never know who you'll run into. Shoot your shot, because you never know what can happen. Even if they ignore you, it's okay totally fine don't take it to don't take offense and don't take it to heart keep at it just if you have to if you have to contact 20 people in one hour do it nine times out of ten three to five of those people will respond and sit with you and talk to you to figure out what it is that you're looking for what it is that you want to do so shoot your shot always shoot your shot you never know Literally, stepping out of your comfort zone is where you would grow and where you will never, ever experience the things that you thought you would experience inside of that little bubble or square that you're so used to being. Take that leap of faith on yourself. Take that leap of faith with, um, with Acadium. And just like I overlooked that email from Square thinking I didn't get it and I got it, I'm telling you, it's like one of the best things you'll ever do. I don't know if you'll end up at Square. You might end up at Netflix. You might end up at Apple. You might end up at where, whatever agency that you've always wanted to work at, Leo Bar uh, Burnett, wherever. You never know where you, where you can go or end up at if you don't take that leap of faith and join Acadium.